what's the relationship of the cultural competencies of the teacher? Well, certainly teachers need to understand what students bring into the classroom. Um, and you know, students come from all different kinds of home backgrounds, different cultural settings. And being aware of that is absolutely critical if you're going to build some trust amongst the students, that, they are, that you actually understand who they are, what they bring to the classroom, what their aspirations are. And certainly the effect size of that is extremely high. Um, you look at things like prior achievement, if you look at things like parents, teachers understanding what kids bring to classrooms, it's what is the starting point of any learning. And one of the frustrations is that so often teachers start a school year and say, I need to understand what you kids can or can't do. And they put them through a series of assessments, but they forget. It's how the kids think. Are these kids prepared to take challenges? Are they prepared to be risk takers? Do they study learning because they want to perform well in front of their peers? Or do they do it because they want to reinvest in learning and master what they're doing? And they are critical dimensions to understanding how you're going to make a connection with these kids to help them in this learning journey. So I think that is a very, very important part of what they bring. And, you know, some kids from different cultures don't have a lot of cultural capital. And sometimes we have to worry about that. And how can they can connect? Because it's not only how they work in the classroom, it's how those kids work outside the classroom is what you want to capitalise on. So I think it's really important.